gorgeous and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jacqueline, the Holistic Siren, and on this channel we bring you physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. So, I am really excited to get into this reading for all my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, okay? So, I am changing up the readings a little bit this month. I am pulling from a new deck, my Dream Oracle deck, all right? So, we are going to focus on physical healing okay so a physical healing message with regard to your chakras and the physical body emotional healing through forms of self-care that will be most helpful for you this month and then any spiritual mes messages that your spirit your respective spirit team is sending to you through your dream state okay um i feel like this month has been super emotional um and uh a lot of emotions all over the place and feeling not grounded and especially for you earth signs um Taurus, Virgo, and Cap, it, I feel like a lot of messages from your spirit team, your loved ones who have passed are coming through dreams versus your um, conscious state when you're awake, okay? So let's get right into it. So God's Source Universe, what, what physical healing message does Taurus, Virgo, and Cap need to receive? Wow, that was fast. Okay, so the first two cards that came out are Will. Okay, you see the turtle on there? You guys might be seeing turtles. Um, a turtle might be your spirit animal. It's, just, it's an animal totem that you might be uh, familiar with. You might have a pet turtle. Yeah. I don't know for someone like if you have a pet turtle named Curtis or a friend Curtis has a pet turtle I don't know that's for like literally someone very specific um, but anyway so this card says expression assertiveness self-control and direction so the month of April for all my earth signs is all about expressing your creativity we got the creativity card okay and these cards are both blue all right i mean there's a little orange in this card as well so blue to me is throat chakra okay so the creativity um that you're wanting to express could be verbal it could be singing um it could be public speaking motivational speaking it could be something on social media um but i feel like it, there like there's something like with the throat like hard you you're having a hard time swallowing maybe your throat feels dry and you're like coughing um this is because there's energetic um blockages or energetic not blockages but backup there's backed up energy in the throat chakra because you guys are not expressing yourself okay you're not expressing this creativity your passion um, your imagination, okay? Things that are being brought to you through divine inspiration, through your crown chakra, okay? Um, I'm hearing slow and steady wins the race because of the turtle, you know, the, the story of the turtle and the hare or turtle and the rabbit. Um, but to me, this is more, if you see here, the turtle has been walking through the desert and it's super dry, <laughs> what I say, parched but you're you're coming to the end of a dry spell if that resonates let me know it's something along the lines of you feel like you've been on this journey for a very long time you feel like it's been very slow and steady the growth has been slow and steady like the turtle right you've been taking your time with this uh creative venture creative project um and it's it's time to to let the world know about it okay um and I feel like this creative, this creativity, like this creative venture that you're like birthing. Um, if you're watching my channel, it, I feel like a lot of you guys are healers or um, in like the fitness industry. Uh, you could be nutritionists. Um, I'm an integrated nutritionist. Um, I just feel like you're, you're in a healing modality as far as like what you do for the world or your life purpose or soul mission, what you feel called to do. Because I feel like this is a divinely inspired project or venture. Um, this card says ideas spark conception impulse. So I feel like this idea um, has been con was conceived a while ago. 
because you see the turtle and you can see the tr his trail all the way back in the mountains in the desert. And now it's like you got that creative spark and now it's time to, to bring it forth to the world through your throat chakra. Now, if you're not doing this or you haven't been doing this and you've been sticking your feet in the mud, especially Taurus, because you're very stubborn Taurus, got so much love for all of you guys, but Taurus, you're stubborn. Um, I feel like there could be some throat issues, like sore throat, coughing, like having to like, <clears throat> like clear your throat a lot. Um, I also feel like some thyroid issues. Um, could feel like you're having like a slow metabolism, slow digestion, maybe, uh, I'm also seeing like, uh, like goiter, goiter development. So a, a goiter essentially is when your thyroid, um, is, uh, inflamed and you literally have like a rounded look to your profile because your thyroid is located in your neck and the throat chakra governs your thyroid. Could also be affecting your immune system as well. Um, I don't know, like I feel like some of you guys got hit by COVID really hard. Um, that's for some of you. Um, and yes, it could be because there is like this pent up energy or backed up energy in the throat chakra and that could affect your thyroid and also your immune system, okay? So run with that divine inspiration and express your creativity and have the determination to take it all the way. All the way, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Felt I needed to say it like that. When you do this, okay, when you, ex you bring this creative venture to fruition, you are going to be creating so much connection with people. I mean, look at that. There, and these connections, they are pure, like white light, positivity, love and light, man. Okay. This card says universal oneness, love, interconnection, and support. I feel like whatever you're doing is going to bring a lot of love, a lot of connection, a lot of, um, moral support, a lot of like feeling of belonging. Yeah. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the family card. So this card is red, um, which signifies root chakra. So root chakra is all about your foundations. Okay. So, um, food, shelter, water, your instincts, but also your sense of, your sense of safety. Sorry, I'm laughing because I picked this card up and we literally got throat chakra, which I've been saying this entire time. Okay. Um, but you're going to be helping so many people by doing this as well as helping yourself. You're building a, a sense of community, a sense of family, um, a sense of interconnectedness, uh, for yourself as well as others. Um, and you're, I just see like your body changing, your energy, your energetic body, your aura changing, like feeling much lighter in your body when lately, like maybe the past like few weeks or the past like two or three months, you felt very, very heavy in your body. Okay. Um, okay. All right, guys. Uh, so moving on. I also feel like feathers could be a sign for you guys. Feathers are a sign of confirmation. It's just a common thing. I, I stopped because it was also a, a symbol. Ooh, oh, shit. <laughs> it was also a symbol for the fire signs, but in a different way. Um, all right, but anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. So now we're going to see what forms of self-care would be best for your emotional healing in April. I keep dropping cards, man. Are you guys dropping the ball on your self-care? I feel like that always happens with the earth signs. You're like dropping the ball on your self-care. All right. So God source universe, what forms of self-care would be best for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn the month of April? Ooh, that's a good one. You guys got, you guys got one of my favorites. Okay, so the first thing we have is massage. And you can see in the card that um, the lower back is accentuated, the hands and the feet. Um, also the back of the neck around the throat, okay? Um, I feel like I'm hearing like reflexology. Uh, if you guys 
want to get a reflexology massage, there are specific pressure points in your feet um, that correspond with each organ system. Um, so I feel like your, lymph, uh, your lymphatic and your immune system, that would be a focus for you because they are, well, part of your lymphatic system and your immune system is in your neck. So where your throat chakra is located, okay? Um, for me too, this is just releasing a lot of, a lot of pressure. Um, I, again, I feel like there's a lot of heaviness for you guys that you've been feeling in the physical body. Um, and I feel like this will relieve a lot of, um, a lot of pressure, um, that you've been feeling emotionally and physically as well. Next we have make an altar. So for me, this is like an ancestral altar. Also, um, yeah, like honoring your family, um, honoring where you've come from, like putting things on an altar that resonate with what makes you feel at home or what makes you feel like family. Like when you think of family, what things could you put on an altar that remind you of your family? Like for, I'll, I'll give you an example. So for me, Christmas has always been a very big family holiday for my family. When my grandparents downsized, they gave out a bunch of their stuff to all of our family members. And the one thing that I wanted was um, this Christmas set of dishes. Um, they're like really cheap porcelain um, Christmas dishes. They're red and they have like a green Christmas tree in the center. But I grew up with those dishes every single Christmas, like for 30 years of my life. Um, so they mean a lot to me emotionally. Um, and I wasn't supposed to get them, but all my, uh, all my aunts decided collectively to give me all the dishes, which was really nice. Um, so maybe like a, um, a coffee cup or a plate or a small plate from that, um, that set I would put on an altar. That's an example. Pictures of your family, um, flowers that remind you of family. Um, candles that remind you of family, anything that reminds you of, um, of your family and your um, ancestry. Okay. Um, and on the bottom of the deck, we have make a meal. So with the throat chakra, um, I'm hearing like soup <laughs> because the throat chakra, um, it's all about like teas and broths, um, things that are like clear. Uh, also like blue foods. So like blueberries are really, really great as well. Um, but I'm feeling like uh, eating lighter foods. Like whenever I look at this card, it has all plant-based foods on it, like fruits and veggies. So uh, I would say like make a plant-based meal, like find a recipe online that speaks to you. Um, and, and make that recipe. Okay. So now Taurus Virgo cat. We're going to see what, what message you've been receiving from your spirit team in your dreams for your spiritual healing. Okay. We've gone through the physical and emotional healing. So now it's time for the spiritual because all three matter equally. So God, source universe. Oh, wow. Did another card flip? No, just want to make sure. So I don't miss anything for y'all. Oh my gosh, I love this for you guys. So this is a, a, a new deck for me. So I um I have my guidebook because I want to read the message for you. So the first card you got is animal. Oh my gosh, there's a bird on the card, you guys. Yes, feathers and birds are confirmation symbols for you that you're on the right path. Embrace your wild side. What does that mean for you guys? Make room for your animal nature to rambunctiously roam free. Create the time and space to dance passionately, paint your face, make love, howl at the moon, sit in the dirt, roam through the park, or roll on the grass with your dog. Being civilized is overrated. Let your inner Tarzan or Jane swing on a vine and scream unintelligible sounds of unedited freedom and joy. Yeah, guys, so this is this is all about engaging your throat chakra, okay? Um, you could be seeing animals in your dreams, birds in your dreams. Um, you could even be dreaming about singing, um, speaking, uh, screaming, anything to do with, with your throat chakra. Um, and the mantra for this card is, 
I am a wild and wonderful being. Hear me roar. See, hear me roar. Oh, all throat chakra. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have Ki, which says, seek no further. Your aha moment is at hand, which directly correlates with the inspiration card. Okay. So ideas, spark, conception, impulse. The answers to the questions you seek, the solutions to the challenges you face, and the financial resources you desire are at hand. In fact, they may be closer than your breath and nearer than your hands and feet. Remember you are that which you seek. Ask yourself the question, what part of my feelings, emotions, and or desires are locked away? Once you identify this, unlock the door of your mind and allow the wisdom, grace, genius, healing, and brilliance of the universe to have its way with you. Okay. And the mantra for this card is, I allow my dreaming mind to catapult me out of the box to reveal all the tre treasures I've ever desired. So uh, this like creative venture project could have happened in a dream for you guys. Or um, it, you might be stuck in the like putting all the puzzle pieces together for what you're trying to do. And look at your dreams or start dream journaling. I'm also seeing 444 on the clock right now. So that might be significant to you guys. You might be seeing that. Uh, the number four is all about stability in the physical world. Um, so like uh, food, shelter, water, your home, your finances, so on and so forth. Um, so I, I feel like starting a dream journal or even like audio recording your dreams on your phone. I do that almost every night because my dreams have been super vivid lately. Um, you're going to get answers through your dreams already. Um, but yeah, so earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Cap, that was your reading. If it resonated, please comment below. I love to read your comments. If you have any questions, I also answer them in the comments as well. Um, if you feel called, you can also make a donation to the channel uh, through Venmo, PayPal, or buy me a coffee. All the links are down below. I really appreciate the energy exchange and I hope you guys have an amazing April.